How would you react to the government banning your thing or making it so difficult you can't do it anymore without breaking the law? Do you like looking at Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, TikTok? Maybe you like playing video games. How about making your yard a haven for nature? Planting lovely plants and putting up bird feeders. Possibly you enjoy camping or hiking in the woods with nature or riding four wheelers on a trail. Many people like playing baseball, basketball, football, or just running around crazy. Maybe you're a sportsman. You like to hunt, fish, shoot at targets or critters. Maybe you like fixing up old classic cars or motorcycles. The government loves to control things. Gun owners have fought the government for years to enjoy what they do. My thing is flying RC drones and aircraft. I've been at it since 2011. I enjoyed it so much that I bothered to get a FAA Part 107 commercial license to attempt to make my hobby a job and live the American dream. If you enjoy what you do, you'll never work a day in your life. I've always enjoyed flying. In my younger, richer days, I pursued a private pilot's license. I spent hours and hours back in the 1990s playing flight simulator. Not being a person of great means, you know, I've always kind of struggled to afford this kind of thing. So, well, in the process, when you fly drones, you crash. Well, I've learned to repair those drones. You know, they're little magic boxes. How do they do what they do? I don't know. You crash it, you know, you can't repair it you know, without learning about it. So I've learned how these little boxes work. You know, it's a great hobby to teach kids about aviation. You know, we need a lot more pilots these days. There's still shortages. It teaches kids about physics, electronics, math, and technology. So everyone is familiar with drones at Walmart that you get, you know, their Best Buy or Amazon. They're already pre-built and ready to go. Racing drones, on the other hand, are a whole different animal. The true diehards build them themselves. It's not an automated flat system with training wheels. It's a manual throttle pitch and roll, yaw, two sticks on a radio. It's a handful. It's hard to learn. You don't want to crash it. You built the thing. You spent hours and hours on it. But you got to push your limits, and when you do, you break them. You know, things were good till, oh, about 2015. Some drunk government employee crashed his fancy DJI drone into the White House lawn and Obama pitched a hissy fit and demanded something be done. You know, he's afraid of a three pound drone might fall on a lobbyist or congressman. You know, many years down the road and endless news media stories later, I cannot fly a drone, RC, plane, helicopter, on my own private property unless it carries a radio transmitter that transmits my physical location and my drone registration info. These transmitters exist but they cost hundreds of dollars regardless of the FAA saying they would be fifty dollars. The next thing I have is I can drive an hour and a half there and back to a, an FAA approved FRIA where a bunch of old men who are stuck in their ways look at guys with drones with malice and hatred. You know, we're not part of their little clique, so they're not very friendly. So starting in September, I'll either have to break the law or drive an hour and a half away to fly my drone. You know, many people are blaming this on large companies like Amazon and UPS. I, however, think it's more of a thing caused by the three letter agencies, you know, FBI, CIA, you know, NSA, whatever, you know, Homeland Security, they want to be able to see who's in the air and what they're doing. Okay, they don't trust us. They think we're all terrorists. They forget who they work for. You know, it's not for the people anymore. So, you know, some of this comes from fear from what's going on in Ukraine. You can take a 
racing drone from you know like what we build and put a hand grenade or mortar on it and fly it through somebody's window or drop it at a commander's feet with ease but we're not doing that you know we're trying to you know get airborne we're trying to enjoy the national airspace which is supposed to be a public you know highway like everything else you know but you know we've got these entrenched lobbyists and all these people that you know don't like us having the freedom to do what we do and uh, they're just basically being tyrannical you know that you see this with like uh, you know with firearms and such you know uh, they try to stop certain types of parts on weapons and stuff I'm not into firearms I can't have one right now so anyway uh, you know they're just trying to take my pursuit of happiness away and I don't appreciate it and okay. I don't know what to do about it so consider this you know drones are a good hobbyist thing you know it's good for kids it gets them out of the house they can still use their control skills to fly something around but at least it's in a real world outside in the air instead of holding a tablet in their hand and getting just drawn into the big gaming thing where it's all just whoever created it it's there we're out in god's creation enjoying it for what it is so please keep this in mind i don't know what we're gonna do but we're trying to spread this on media so maybe we can put a end to this or maybe have the FAA recant what they're trying to do. Thank you for your time and listening and God bless America. Good day.